Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Victor VR's fourth official live stream. So we are back today with some more of the gameplay, which we're gonna show you in just a few minutes. Uh, I cannot be more excited that you're back here with us. So just quickly to give you a recap what just happened in our last stream, if you missed it, guys. Uh, so we went to Itsuki, our best friend, right? Remember? Like, best friend. Okay, okay, best friend. My best friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he gave us a very good quest, which was actually the first fighting which we saw, uh, which was very entertaining for me as well, and I hope for you guys. Uh, but there was a big tease at the end of the fight where you saw the bigger bug with the armor, and I think today will be quite something special. So we're gonna show you and jump back straight to it. Also, we learned a new spell, which was interesting, Aqualis. So we're gonna show you how that is in the gameplay so let's jump into it should we yes okay let's go let's go To start off, I would like to just set my settings quickly back to the smooth experience from the snap. So I actually I like playing on the smooth settings. It's just up to me. You can do it however you want. Uh, and yeah, so now we are officially back. Our friend over there, he taught us a new spell, the water spell, which is looking quite cool. And you can throw it up to four times. And I will show you what that does later on in the stream. So, our quest right now is to investigate the abandoned temple. Uh, so, again, you can you can use a, your wisp, or this time I'm going to show you how to get there without a wisp. Uh, and you can follow literally this little like green rectangle, as you can see right here on the south port. And you can just follow it, which is your basically like a quest point. Uh, where you need to go. So I'll show you how it works. Just rotate and it seems like we need to go that way. Okay, so let's go. Um, I'll see you later. Okay, so we just keep going this way uh, around here, around this area. And also I would like to mention these little, actually not little, they're very huge. These uh, Tory gates which are all around Asagaya, Asugaya, and they're basically like waypoints, like the main ones where you can actually cross and reach your uh, quest line or destination, and it's basically, they're used basically just like as a waypoint, uh, so that you don't get lost, uh, and basically on the quest lines. But we're not gonna go that way just yet, we're gonna go this way, because if you have a look, it's leading up to that way, not that way. I'll show you why that gate is important later on but we need to go this way okay so we're just gonna go around this very cool looking environment I'll uh, just get our way up here and this is where we need to follow we could have gone this way across it here but I'm just taking a shortcut so you can follow it through the gates so it feels like you're actually progressing through the checkpoints uh, but I'm just doing my own shortcut. That's just <laughs> how I want to do it. Okay. So again, I would just want to mention, I'm going to mention it many times, uh, it's still an early access. So we're going to be adding updates. There is one update that is coming very soon. So I can tell you that. Uh, we're going to be adding foliage and also uh, changing the level uh, environment. So polishing it as well. So you don't have to worry. Uh, so, as of now, we're just progressing through our quest line, going up here. Uh, this way, you can you can just take your moment and ha have a look around. It's, yeah, it's it's very nice. It's very nice. It actually, it feels like you're oh, and there is there might be some Easter egg maybe later on, but it's just just a quick point out. 
Okay, so we're progressing through this point. We're here, just jump over there. Get here, and yeah, just slowly progressing our way through. You see another gate, Tory Gate. I hope you remember it as well. And it basically serves as a checkpoint. So again, I can feel like, oh, checkpoint, nice. We like passing through it, slowly going up. Uh, and once you reach this waterfall, you don't have to worry about it, that you're gonna get actually blown away from the steam all the way there, over the cliff. You can just walk through it. And yeah, so I just received a progress save. So this, if you die, uh, you're basically gonna spawn here. And this over here is where our second fight happens. That one. Uh, my health. Okay, full. Good. Yeah, as you can see, the spider is already spawned in. So that means there is a, gonna be a fight happening. As I uh, showed you last time in the fight scene, there are all of these spiders. So once you pass that barrier, they're gonna eat you alive. Which is not very nice. <laughs> they're, they're pretty scary. So now if you want to go back, well, I don't recommend doing it. That's up to your <laughs> decision, but I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna try to beat this level. So, I'm gonna show you a few things in this fight, what you can do. Uh, so, first of all, you need to damage that log over there in order for the fight to start. Or you can just damage the small little nest. But I'm gonna show you one little thing. So, you can just bombard it with all the fire you have first. Okay. And now you can see that there's actually big bugs over there. And as much as you try to hit uh, this log here, it's gonna keep spawning from the nest as well. And now you can see that these armored bugs, they don't... I'm not doing them a lot of damage with fire. So you actually need to uh, draw the water spell to actually do some... Just to break them first, like this. To break the armor and then actually start damaging them with the fire spell. So you can get short fire off. I'm very... It's very hard to draw it and then actually keep running, so that's kind of the difficult part here. Yeah, just keep running around, try to damage it. And if you would like to play on hardcore, I'm just gonna show you real quick what you can do. You can just keep hitting the log and try to destroy it while damaging as well the enemies. Well, I just died. <laughs> but that's kind of like the fun in it. So you can actually try to just destroy the log uh, and not destroying the nests. So that you can actually experience it a bit more. Uh, harder gameplay but if you're gonna keep doing that then it's just gonna keep spawning um, more and more bugs so that way you're actually gonna uh, just end up with being like 50 bugs around you and try to destroy all of them so I'm gonna show you the correct way how to do it I mean that's up to you but this is how I want to do it so you just destroy the nest one by one so you don't have to deal with any of the bugs at the same time so as you can see, we're just gonna hit it here, destroy this button. Oh, just ran out of the Took some damage. So try to destroy the metal quickly. Again, use the water spell to break the armor. Fire. Okay, and we have the first. Nice. And that's destroyed. And as you can see, there are no other bugs around here. So we can just take our time. Maybe we still have some water spell. Fire. Okay, let's keep destroying these one by one. Okay. Did you get the one. Get destroyed. Yeah. And one more. Nice. So that's two. Let me one more. Okay, let's get it. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay. You get one. One. Nice. So now you can start destroying the log. So there's gonna be just one bug happening at one time. Just keep hitting it. Hello there. You get water spell on you. Break the armor. Kill the bug. And now you can keep damaging the log. And there is another one. Here you go. Boom. Okay. Keep destroying the log. See, it's much easier if you're gonna have just one bug to deal with, other than having like four at the same time or five. So it's much, much better. But once you destroy the log, 
gonna show you. Oh, just went out of water. Here we go. So now, once you destroy the lock, there's again gonna be spawning uh, all of the bugs where the nests were at. So you just have to destroy them. Oh, oh. Okay. And this one. We ran out. We still have half health, that's okay. Ah, uh, I see him. I see him there. Come here. No, 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 you're not running away. Ah, he got him. Yeah, no running from me. <laughs> okay. And I think that's it. Destroy them all. Perfect. So you can have a look at the quest. We have to come back to Itsuki. And you actually basically uh, see when the bugs, dis uh, the spiders disappear. That's when the fight is over and you can just move around, have a look around as well in here. I'm going to show you, which is the abandoned temple. Uh, you can actually go inside, have a look. We're going to have a, in the future, uh, more quests regarding this specific location, how it actually happened, what, what, it, what it is for, uh, what we can do around here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can just have a look around here. Just take your time. You actually don't have to hurry anywhere because you just completed the fight, so you can just explore it. Have a look around, take your time, enjoy, relax a bit, and when you're ready, you can just slowly walk your way back. So again, I'm trying not to use the wisp. Uh, I'll just see where I need to go. So I need to go that way. But I know that you have to walk slowly backwards again, the way you came here. So again, I'm just gonna follow the Tory gates over here. And yeah, go back. I'm, well, actually, I'm just gonna use all of my controls so that I don't have any in my hand. And heal real quick. Okay, well, that was not perfect rectangle. That was perfect. Okay. And now we're good to go. Okay. So now we're going back to it. Okay. So we're just gonna slowly walk our way. Walk our way back. I just received progress saved, which you might not see on your screens, but when you have the headset on, that's what you will see. Okay, and now we can just slowly go back, have a look around if you want to, around some any Easter eggs or anything if you want to. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna walk our way back over there and see what else is waiting for us. But I hope you're enjoying the stream, guys, uh, since this is gonna be. Uh, almost our last stream because as you know if you play the game we're getting almost to the end but uh i want to tell you that we're gonna save something special for the last stream and i hope you're enjoying it with us as well if you have any comments you can just drop it down uh my colleague over there will try to give you any answers that he can possibly answer to if you have regarding the game and we're just gonna go back and just enjoy our time so this time actually i can go take the shortcut here but i'm just gonna go this way so that i don't take the same route just jump yeah i would not go on there just we can just slowly go back here back there um and yeah now we're back where we started and again i'm still gonna come back to this gate i'll i'll show you later on you don't have to worry okay so now once we reach here, we know that we have to go back to Itsuki's house, which is a bit far away, but if you ever get lost, you can just use your wisp. So I'm gonna show you right now. Well, sometimes that can happen, but don't worry, we're gonna just restart for the last checkpoint and we're gonna go right to it. I'm just gonna stay here with you guys while we start the game. So this type of bug uh, can happen as of now sometimes because it's still not 100% perfect game but uh, we know and we are aware of this issue that it might happen to you guys as well so you don't have to worry about it just quickly start the game and as you can see we have to go back again but it's okay. So I would recommend uh, for now just Try to stick to the we're gonna fix it anyway in the next update so you don't have to worry but we're gonna go and just try to keep going 
using the mark on our um, compass. So don't worry. So you can just slowly walk back because you know which way to go anyway if you play the game. Uh, but if you don't, you can try to follow me and try to keep up. <laughs> And as I would like to still mention, uh, even though we're still in early access, uh, there might be little tiny bugs, but we're going to be fixing them anyway. Uh, and the next update, which is coming very soon, is going to include uh, a whole new bunch of stuff, which I cannot reveal just yet. But I can tell that it's pretty exciting, and I think you guys will see the big difference that it makes in the game and for your experience. So I hope you guys are ready for that as well. Okay, so we're just gonna continue our way up because I'm, I'm pretty sure that we need to go exactly the way we came. So I'm just gonna go this way because if you remember in our last stream we went with Itsuki this way. So I'm just gonna follow the path uh, exactly the way we came. So you don't have to worry about losing yourself or getting anywhere, you just let you follow the path you came. And that way, you know, you're just going to get back to the city, so it's okay. And once you actually start seeing the houses here, uh, you know that you're on the right track. Okay. And now, I'm pretty sure we can use the Wisp, which is going to help you guide you. So again, you can use literally your um, green rectangle, which is going to show you where exactly it is. But the Wisp is going to help you get there. Um, like closely, like step by step, so you don't get actually lost. Okay, so 100% sure that we're gonna have to turn this way, but you can actually take your time and go that way if you want to, just because you can, it's an open world, right? <laughs> and you can come back to the quest whenever you want, so that way you actually can explore the whole city um, just by yourself if you're interested. And yeah, we're just gonna keep following the wisp so that we actually get to the quest line where we need to go. Okay. And I think we're almost there. Now we literally are back where we started. We have the friend over there still fishing. <laughs> Good job, guys. And also there, hi guys. Oh yeah, we need to get across the bridge over there. Over here. Oh yeah, and I mean that bridge over there, the stone one, it looks very cool from here. If you would actually see on your headset, uh, that it's a pretty nice view from here. I hope you can guys experience it as well for yourselves. Uh, it's, it's very cool to actually play the game and I'm actually <laughs> very honored that I can uh, stream for you guys so that you can actually see it. Because it is very gorgeous. I just... I just want to chill for a bit, just like that. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. You can always take your time and just relax for a bit. Um, and yeah, here we are. Oh, we have the professor here as well and... Ah, our friend. Okay, so what do you have to tell me? I killed all those bugs. Have you defeated the bigger bugs? Oh, yes, I have. That's great. You should head to Professor Hiroshi immediately and fill him in on the situation. I'm worried that these bugs might return soon. Well, I'll tell him. Thank you. Hey, Professor, I need to tell you something. Hello, did you visit Itsuki and help him with the bug infestation? Well, yes, I just, yeah. Did everything go well? Well, I mean, something bigger could be around, you know, behind this. Tell me. Do you That's have been a me? concern of mine as well. I'm sure that you know about the Tree of Life. It plays a crucial role in maintaining balance in the surrounding nature. Recently, the tree's vitality has been waning. Really? Um, why do you think that, Professor? Tell me. The most important part of the tree is the Seed of Life. It is an ancient artifact responsible for the powers of the Tree of Life. I just found out that it went missing. Missing? Tell me more about it, please. Someone must have stolen it. I have a strong suspicion that these bugs didn't simply appear on their own. 
it's likely that someone is controlling them. And this same entity is probably responsible for the theft of the Seed of Life. Really? Okay, how do we, how do we find him? I, I'm gonna find him. Tuki oh. told me that parts of the forest where the bugs appeared were significantly damaged. The deeper you go into the forest, the more damage can be seen. This appears to be a crucial clue leading us to the entity responsible for all of this. Do you suspect anyone? Because I don't, so you need to tell me more. I don't have any suspicions at the moment. I'm okay. still in the process of gathering evidence to identify who is responsible for all of this. Okay, well, I will investigate it. Don't worry, Professor. You stay here. Excellent. I'll mark the location on the map for you. In the meantime, I'll visit the temple to see if I can temporarily safeguard the power of the tree until we recover the seed of life. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna go and find out whoever stole that seed of uh, seed of life. Don't worry. But before I do that, I just have to admire your garden. Like that's that is wow. I mean, it's okay. Really, loves his gardening, right? It looks very cool. Actually, I did not even go inside, right? So let me just go inside. Sorry, guys. Just for just for a bit. Hmm. I mean, it's very cool. Yeah, his house is pretty nice, actually. I, I admire that. It's very nice. You have a nice house, Itsuki. Okay. So now we need to get back to our quest. So we need to go through. Our quest is Seed of Life and we need to explore the marked area. So as you can see, the little green rectangle is a bit smaller now because that's probably it's a bit further away. Uh, and yeah, you can again use your wisp in order to get there. Uh, so let's follow it. I'll just slowly try to go back here. Okay, nice. And you can, again, uh, you don't have to follow the quest line. You can just um, explore the city on your own uh, for a bit. Uh, or you can, if you finished all of the quest lines and you just want to have fun, you can visit our hub where you can meet other players, which is available after you completed all the quests. Uh, and yeah, you can have some fun with other people as well to play the game and you can actually talk to them via voice chat. So that's something that you can do. Or if you just want to test your skills, uh, you can go to the PvP arenas, which I mentioned many times before, which are in the main square um, before the academy. And yeah, you can just go and test your PvP skills against other players. Try to win as much as possible. And yeah, we can. I can also share with you that we're gonna be launching uh, the new fire and wood arenas, which are coming very soon. So you can, uh, for now, just experience the PvP arenas, which are now available only, but there will be more content to come. So stay tuned for that, as well as a huge content update for this whole city, which is gonna be very massive and I think you will all be guys uh, surprised so that's something for you to uh, that's something that you will see very soon and for now we're just gonna keep following the wisp but I just thought that for a moment we would jump down there but yeah I'm just gonna go this way so again you can just relax for a bit look uh, look around actually maybe touch yeah. <laughs> okay I'm a bit big to that for that. Okay, so we just follow the wisp. If you lose the wisp, um, don't worry. You can just click it again. Uh, and it seems like we're just gonna go the same way we just came uh, before. And I think there's a reason. And if you are here from the beginning, I think you know where we're going because I mentioned it two times. The, uh, one specific gate which we need to go to. Uh, and we are also reaching the end of the whole quest lines, so uh, that's something that I think you already know anyway. Uh, but if you don't, uh, it is something special for you that is waiting for the last stream, which will be next next week. So I hope you guys are still enjoying our content, our game, uh, and hope you stay tuned for the next next week because it's going to be the last. Uh, important stream uh, and I don't want to spoil anything but also I'll be showing you uh, exactly how the multiplayer works in the hub 
and also in the PvP arenas, so there's still gonna be more content to show than just quest lines. So that's something that you uh, might be interested about as well. Okay, so as you can see, we're literally back where we started. Our friend Itsuki is not over there anymore. He's just at his house chilling, <laughs> waiting for us to complete the big quest. And as I said before, this is not that we're returning actually here to the story gate over there because I said it was important. <coughs> because if you would actually go here at the start, uh, you could actually go to a specific point, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. Okay, wait, I'm just going to pass through here. Uh, jump. Okay, so if you would actually, uh, at the beginning of the quest where you started, you would pass through here, then actually go to the abandoned temple. Uh, down here, you would realize that there are the spiders again, which are blocking your way to get through it. So that's uh, giving you like a, basically like a stop line that you actually need to complete another quest before that in order to reach this location. <coughs> so that's just an info for you guys if you just wanted to ignore that quest and go straight here. So that's just uh, for you to know. And now we can actually pass through here. So this is a brand new location that we have not seen before. And again, I'm just gonna mention it a few more times. I know it might, if you don't know it, but I just want to make it very clear. It's still an early access. So we're gonna be, again, releasing a bit very soon. Uh, which is going to change a lot of things in this current version of the game. So you don't have to worry about that the way it's uh, currently looking. If anything is for you guys, little bugs that are occurring, we are already fixing everything. So you don't have to worry about that. That's just for you to know. And more update uh, of the content is coming soon as well. So don't worry. Okay, so now okay you, you can actually use your wisp anyway but i just i think i know where i'm going just going all the way down that i can uh yeah as you can see we'll still need to go a bit a bit deeper over here believe while you can well i'm not gonna leave i'm sorry <laughs> but nice drive i need that seed of life back i want to save the whole world of Asuka. sorry Okay, so once you reach this point, you can start to see that you're already in, the, in some kind of like a boss arena where you cannot get out of, which is correct, almost, but actually there are more. The little box over here, okay, well, I'm not very scared of you. You get one, you get one, you get one, you get one, and you get one. So you can actually, um, actually, I'm going to show you. We can... We can literally go around here, try to destroy all the nests, which I'm gonna do, because I don't want these bugs over here to be... Okay, wait, there was no perfect time. Here it is. So you can just destroy everything one by one. So you don't get distracted, or if they're not coming up to you. Just like that, just like that. Oh, okay, one more. Ha! So that's one down. Okay, we can just... Ah! There we go. Okay, I'll destroy this one as well. So you can just take your time, destroy every single one of the nests if you want to. Uh, of course, it's not mandatory. You can just, you can also progress, but then it, they might haunt you at the end. So I think it's better if we just clear them out so that they're not distracting us later on. Okay, so. And also, the nice thing about this one is that you can the armored box, the bigger ones. So <clears throat> there will be a different kind of story. I will maybe skip them as well because they're very scary and big. Okay, okay wait, I'm gonna call this one as well. And you get one, and you get one. Oh, another fire here. And oh. Oh. destroyed. So we destroyed all the free nests. And now we can get back to where we want to go. <coughs> and if that is, you don't know where to go, you just click here, and you and you know that you have to go that way. Again, the I don't want to go through water, so I'm just gonna go through here. And now this is 
where our final battle begins. But before I enter actually that, I want to stop the stream here, so that actually I save the best for the last, uh, which is going to be in the next week's stream, and we can finish the whole walkthrough of Asuga. So uh, thank you guys for joining in. I hope you enjoyed, um, and well, I will see you next time. So I'm just gonna go back to my colleague and finish the game here. Thank you. Wow, what an incredible stream. That was very fun, wasn't it? It, it was intensive, it was, as always. Yes, yes, that's true. Well, this fight was very incredible. I hope you guys try it for yourselves as well. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun as well. And I hope my colleague answered many of your questions. As I can see in the chat, he tried his best. I've done my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's done his best. Okay, and well, I will see you in the next stream. But before we go, I would like to just tease one little thing which is going to be the name of the fire, fire arena, which mm -hmm. is called the Dome of the Phoenix. So that's just a little tease over there if you want to know. Okay, well, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.